hello everyone welcome back to my channel based on the request of my subscribers i am starting a new playlist that's fluid mechanics so uh, apart from academicians who are uh, teaching fluid mechanics uh, for students who are preparing for your competitive exams uh, i think this playlist will be surely useful for you uh, because uh, even before deriving or uh, describing that topic in detail uh, simultaneously i'll be covering the basics basic terminology and basic formulae and uh, which is important uh, for which type of exam like this i'll be telling few important tips for you so i think this channel will surely benefit you hence in this regard i personally request you to subscribe if you are not yet done and if you are subscribed please inform your friends also okay in this video i'll be particularly explaining you about uh, first of all what is a fluid uh, what is the basic difference between a fluid and a solid what's the definition of fluid mechanics and what's the classification of fluid mechanics okay this basic terminology the ground terminology we will cover today right coming to what is uh, we'll discuss I, as i've told you we'll discuss fundamentals regarding this uh, fluid mechanics so right first of all uh, i think uh, since school age we know uh, generally we have three states of matter right our teachers are teaching us what are they solid liquid and a uh, gas in this basically liquid and gas together are known as fluids most of the people has a misconception that fluids means only liquids no fluids means both liquids and gases so what is the definition of a fluid a fluid is a substance which cannot resist deformation means it can easily start uh, deforming it cannot resist uh, the deformation how is this deformation taking place when you apply any external stress or load on a fluid so when you're trying to uh, exert some force or stress on the fluid it cannot undertake that stress so what it will do it will start deforming it will be out of its shape that's called as a fluid okay so a fluid is a substance which lack the ability to resist deformation that's the basic definition so you observe both for liquid and gas the same thing happens its shape changes continuously in response to external force what i have told you right now it deforms means its shape changes it flows away next what is the basic difference between solid and fluid so i have a small tabular column for you i'll explain each point in detail please concentrate so solid and fluid first let's see the first point in solid a solid can resist deformation caused due to an external force or stress right you take a solid item like you just take your table or you just take a chair and you apply load on it okay so it will have its own uh, permissible limit until which it can take the stress but once the permissible limit is exceeded it will start to fail but what is the meaning at least until the per permissible limit it is able to take the stress it is able to take uh, the external force it is not deforming it means that once you give a hand punch on the chair the chair will not get deformed immediately so that is resisting the deformation whereas you take a fluid you take a water i mean a liquid or a gas what will happen you even apply a small load a small stress it will start deforming right so that's the first basic difference between a solid and a fluid let's see the second definition solid has a definite shape whereas fluids doesn't have yes this we know it already solid as i've told you you take a table you have a, uh, you take a chair it will have a shape but uh, you take fluid you take water water doesn't have any shape any liquid doesn't have any shape you pour it in a glass it will take the shape of the glass you pour it in a bowl it will take the shape of the bowl so that's uh, the definition or that's the meaning of this point fluid has no shape next third difference is stress is a function of strain in solids whereas stress is a function of rate of strain in fluids now if you take solids as i've told you you apply load until the permissible limits i mean until the highest point till the uh, object or the solid can take the stress it uh, it will resist after that it will start uh, deforming so until that point that's your stress will be a function of strain means as you're applying stress the strain will be taking place but whereas you observe in fluids stress is a function of rate of strain means once you are applying the stress the strain the deformation whatever you are getting it will be in terms of time okay next the last uh, difference the static properties of a solid can be extended to dynamic properties 
in fluids the static properties of a fluid cannot be extended so what he means to tell is in solids whatever you are uh, uh, writing some principles or laws uh, for uh, solids when it is at rest you can uh, even extend that you can just apply the same or you can just extend the property when the body is in motion when the solid is in motion but regarding fluids the static properties of fluid you cannot extend to dynamic properties means what whatever principles you are formulating whatever uh, what do you call uh, laws you are writing with respect to fluids when it is at rest you cannot apply the same principles when it is in motion why because here fluids are deforming continuously so you can't apply the same principles you have to formulate new principles okay these are the basic differences between solids and fluids next coming to mechanics okay right first of all what is mechanics i think you are uh, very familiar with this word what is mechanics mechanics is nothing but behavior of bodies either at rest or in motion and this is a branch of physics or a physical science which deals with behavior of bodies either at rest or in motion we have only two cases either the body should be at rest or it should move okay so when the body is at rest that uh, study is called as statics static means rest position when the body is moving when it is not at rest means what it is moving now so when it is moving it's called dynamics so this is the first broad classification you have statics and dynamics statics means the bodies are at rest position the net force acting on the body is equivalent to zero it means it is in equilibrium then the other possible case is the body should move when it is moving it is called dynamics this dynamics is further classified into kinematics and kinetics i told dynamics means what the body is in motion so when this how this body is in motion now initially it was at rest position when did it start moving when you applied some force then only it can move so in kinematics kinematics here it is a branch of dynamics where you consider only the body in motion you do not consider the force which is making the body to move i think i am clear body is in motion means it is dynamics part okay clear but why is the body moving there is some force or pressure which is making it to move there is something is pushing beyond to make it move if you do not consider that force if you consider only the body is moving then it is called as kinematics okay uh, for example like you say uh, uh, what you can say just like uh, water is flowing from section a to section b i am just telling water is flowing from section a to section b but i am not telling what is making that water to move it may be some external pressure or it may be under gravity i am not concerned with the force i am just telling water is moving that is under kinematics whereas in kinetics what we do we also consider the force causing the motion means now for the same example i will tell water is flowing from section a to b under gravity means under gravity means under which force it is moving gravitational force so here i am considering the force causing the motion also that's called as kinema kinetics okay so kinematics and kinetics kinematics means bodies in motion without considering the force kinetics means bodies in motion considering the force this is what i have explained you the classification mechanics is classified into statics and dynamics statics is bodies at rest dynamics means bodies are in motion dynamics is again classified into kinematics and kinetics kinematics means bodies in motion without considering the force kinetics means bodies in motion with considering the force and uh, this mechanics concept is applied especially in engineering in three fields one is mechanics of rigid bodies one is mechanics of deformable bodies one is mechanics of fluids if i apply the concept of mechanics on rigid bodies you know what are rigid bodies right the bodies whose deformation is negligible or which is rather not considered that's called a rigid body and that rigid body mechanics only is called engineering mechanics where probably most of the students will learn in their first year of graduation that's engineering mechanics or applied mechanics which is nothing but mechanics of rigid bodies means you consider the behavior of rigid bodies at rest as well as in motion next if you see mechanics of deformable bodies is nothing but solid solid mechanics for mechanical people and strength of materials for civil people so what you are doing here you are considering the bodies to deform and you are applying the mechanics concept means you are 
saying that the bodies are able to deform at rest as well as in motion. That's why in our strength of materials and solid mechanics we talk about strains. Right? Next, coming to fluids. If you apply the same concept of mechanics like on fluids means fluids are at rest and fluids are in motion. Then that's called as fluid mechanics. Now we'll uh, discuss about fluid mechanics. So as usual you apply just the definitions of mechanics to fluid mechanics. You add the word fluid. So fluid mechanics means it's a branch of science which deals with the behavior of fluids at rest or in motion. If the fluids are at rest it is fluid statistics. If the fluids are in motion it is fluid dynamics. Fluid dynamics is again classified into fluid kinematics and fluid kinetics. In fluid kinematics you just consider the fluid to move without considering the external force or stress. In fluid kinetics you uh, study the behavior of fluids along with the concentration of force as I have told you the water example just now. So that's all about uh, uh, the basic terminology related and I guess for uh, most of the competitive exams they will be asking you the definitions of fluid kinematics, fluid kinetics and uh, remember one important point people in most of the cases people call fluid kinetics as fluid dynamics also. So in suppose in multiple choice questions MCQs you don't get an option called fluid kinetics for this definition they will be giving you fluid dynamics also. So like that you have to remember. So I think these are the most important terminologies related to uh, basics like uh, what is a fluid, what is the difference between solid and a fluid and uh, then what is mechanics, what is fluid mechanics etc. So this is all about today's video friends. Uh, hope you are clear. Still if you don't understand you can just contact me through by uh, commenting or else just by uh, catching me up on my mail and uh, our next video will be about properties of fluids. I, I think you are clear. I mean you are uh, aware of uh, properties of fluids like uh, density, specific weight, specific gravity right which are very very important properties. We will be discussing those properties and we will solve few numerical problems related to those properties in our next video. Okay catch me there and uh, thank you.